If you don't know what Microsoft Entry is, then you're not alone. I have no idea either. In this video, we're going to find out together, like a team. Having worked with Azure AD and Identity for quite a long time now, I always thought there was something missing, like, like there wasn't enough portals. Thankfully, Microsoft have me covered and they've created a, a new portal for us to access. It's entra.microsoft.com, the Entra Admin Center. And it's our integrated, easy to use place for managing identity. All right, irony aside for the rest of the video, let's not waste any time. We're gonna jump straight into the Entra Admin Center. And like I said, it's at entra.microsoft.com. Let's go. So when you arrive here, you get this banner at the top, which explains what Entra is, like I've just been through. And you can see we've got three kind of expandable tree things on the left hand side there. We've got Azure AD, Permissions Management, and Verified ID Preview. Now, I don't mean to be a cynic, but I can see that the, the little icon there for Permissions Management isn't the same as Azure Active Directory and Verified IDs, and it's kind of the external link icon, which, you know, the cynic in me thinks, well, that's not really an integrated and easy to use approach if it's going to drag me off to a separate and new portal. But let's go through it. Let's see what happens, because I, as I say, I haven't been through this. We'll go through it together. So Azure AD, I've been using Azure AD for years now. So what what is different? Well, we've got the overview here. When you open this tree, this is very similar to what I get with the rest of my Azure AD portal. When I look at this, uh, you've got users, groups, devices. Applications is new, I think. Enterprise apps is, um, maybe it's not new actually. Applications, uh, protect and secure. Well, this is normally in the security section and a little bit less easy to find. So I like that. That's, that's kind of a rearrangement of the Azure AD portal there. Identity governance, yeah, and then a show more. Um, that just spits out all of these. Uh, that does show more. I think that that definitely does show more than there was before. That's great. Okay, and we get billing there as well. Okay, and settings, right? Settings we can do. Preview stuff. Mobility is now buried in settings. That's yeah, great. Um, okay, well that's good. So that's that. Now we've got verified ID there as well. I'm going to jump into the home screen there just so we can see these three sections that we get. You get verified ID, Azure Active Directory, and permission management. I'm going to click on verified ID just to talk through it for a second because I do know what verified ID is. It's uh, it's not onboarded onto this tenant, so we're going to have to go through that at some point when I go through that in a separate video. But it's a way of creating verified identities for your organization so that you can prove who people are when you need to, and they can prove who they are when they need to. So let's talk about that in a separate video because this is just introducing the entry portal for to me and, and hopefully you, and we'll take a look at that later. So jumping back to the home screen, and then we've got this external link. I'm gonna click it, and, uh, and so you go to the cloudnox.io uh, website by the looks of it, and I've not, not enrolled into this at all, not onboarded, I haven't got a license or a trial or anything like that. So let's see what happens. Onboarding failed. Please purchase or acquire a trial license for Entra Permission Management. Or you can acquire a license directly using this handy link. Um, you know, I think you'll agree that's not an integrated portal if you have to literally leave the portal in order to get to it. So not too pleased with how that's gone, um, but never mind. Good introduction to the portal, hopefully. That's what Intra is. I'm definitely going to look into permissions management and also the verifier ID in a separate video. Thanks for watching.